It's Sunday night, and this is The Conjugal Visit on KGFRocks.com. We are back on the air. You hear me? I can hear you fine. Okay. Let me turn up your volume just a little bit. And, uh, you know, it just it just figures that this shit would, you know, lock up on me tonight. It was doing just fine. So I don't know what the fuck happened. But uh, we're, anyways, we're back. And we lost the entire beginning of the show. Is that right? We did. Uh, we did. Okay. Well, um... But I think it was the best best show we ever fucking did. I know, I know, and it just it was like figures. in depth uh, knowledge and and humor. It was fantastic. Yeah, it was. It really was. It really fucking was, man. We, I, you know what? You know what? You get it. It just figures. It just figures that it was. Maybe it'll up. show up somewhere. Yeah. And we can edit it into the end of this show, <laughs> right? Or we but anyway, in case we two. in case we don't find it, we talked about death in July, and we talked about funeral homes and funerals, and uh, what was the last thing we were talking about? Um, oh, MS thirteen. Yeah, these dangerous motherfuckers. Yeah, and then I asked you, and then I asked you about. Um, uh, what do you think of this transgender shit in the military? Maybe that's why I got cut off. <laughs> I think it's the greatest <laughs> thing ever. You think it's a good idea? Yeah, yep. Explain Explain to me why. Because there's, that's a distraction, I think. Okay, you're a man or you're a woman, you're whatever. I, I mean, if you want to change, that's your prerogative. But... <clears throat> You shouldn't be. They, you shouldn't be a military. It's distracted, and I agree with it. Right. You're a distraction. Uh, uh, so they have to be coddled. Right. Yeah, they have to be coddled. Okay. And 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 in what way? Go, wait, wait. What? In what way are they being coddled, though? They have to have well, their own special parents. Are, a lot of them are being uh, the gender operation done on the government's dime. Okay. So they're saying that's why they're joining him. So they get a freebie. Right. Right. I don't know that to be true or not. So they're allowing... Our citizens, they're they, let me get this right. Let me get this right. So they join the service as a man. Or a woman. Or a woman. And they want to change genders. They mm-hmm. can do it on the military's dime? I guess so. Under the Obama uh, military, yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, and... Um, Trump stopped that and you know we'll look at just the case of uh, the first uh, one of the first leakers Bradley Manning yeah he's now Chelsea Manning yeah I know about Chelsea right I know you about know, Chelsea and, and he that's got good, that done in, he got that and, finalized in the military right. before Absolutely. he went to prison mm-hmm well he got he got uh, President Obama um, pardoned him yeah yeah, I knew that. I yeah. knew that. I mean, I, I, where does this make it? I don't get it. I, I, it's just not natural. It, well, that's the thing they're saying, too. You know, here's a problem, and, and I, I'm going to tell you what the problem with Donald Trump is, dude, is that he is a Christian believer in God, and that scares a lot of people. 
Yeah. Because if you're going to believe what the Bible says or whatever, you're going to have a different set of ideal, ideal, ugh, ideals at over the liberal people. Right. And, you know, he doesn't think it's natural either. Yeah. He don't think it's... Well, no, he doesn't think it's natural. I mean, he's a... You know, he's not... He's not... And they said it was a surprise. Why is that a surprise? That's not a surprise. That's something that he really wanted to end any fucking way. I don't know why it's such a surprise to these fucking people. No, I don't know either. I don't know either, but, you know, the whole point of it is, is if you want to do that... Go ahead. It, it's your prerogative in, in America to be who you want to be. But, you know, it, it doesn't mean that everybody has to accept it. That's the problem with the world today is everybody is allowed to be different but wants everybody to accept it. I don't have to accept something if I don't want to accept it. Right. It doesn't make me a bad person. That doesn't right. make me an evil person. doesn't make me a racist, a hypocrite, whatever. It makes me who I am. I don't, you know, agree with everything that goes on in the world. And then there's a lot of things that I don't really give a shit about because it doesn't bother me, so I don't fret over it. But there's too many, like, I don't know, people crying about so many different causes. Why? What's so fucking wrong with the world now than it, over 50 years ago? It was a lot worse, trust me. Right. Right. You oh, know, yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. I mean, you know, when they treated, if you want to see a good movie, folks, if you want to see a good movie, see, now what they do now is, like, they put these folks that want to become, that are transgender, I, I, and I, folks, I'm not being, I'm just pointing out what has been done to our military, and, and I, I don't have any difference whether or not you want to be a woman or a man or a man or a woman or whatever you... Whatever trips your trigger, you know what, that, that's fine with me, okay? Right. That's fine with me. But our military has to coddle them in such a way they have to have their own barracks. They are paying for the surgery, okay? Right. Uh, on top of that, they must accommodate them in combat. So if they're in combat, they have to make special outhouses for them. Okay, they have to put those up. Um, mm-hmm. th- they have to have different sleeping quarters in the in the LZ. Okay, mm-hmm. without having to go out in the field. And then once they go out in the field, there are certain things that you can't do or say. Right. Now there's this one guy who was a Navy SEAL that went transgender, mm-hmm. and he is saying uh, he said that. Uh, they don't have any special accommodations for them and blah, 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 blah. But I don't buy that. Mm-hmm. I don't buy that at all. They have to. They have yeah, to. They do. You're, not, you're not bunking with me, dude. <laughs> you're not bunking in the same room with me. And, and that's why? pretty fucking simple. Because if it, was a, if it was a woman before and now it's a man, why would that be bad? Either way, it's not a natural thing. If if that's a right. woman, that's still a fucking woman, Lane. They won't let that happen. That right. won't happen. I guarantee it. All right, and it's the same way with a, a, a male turned to a female. They're not going to put him in the women's barracks. Right. They're not going to put him. They're going to put him in separate areas because he was a man. Yeah, but he's not no more. Nah, nah, he is. He's, Trust me. No, he's not. He's legally uh, not anymore. Legally. If you go Legally. To, right, legally. So they can't, that would be a form of discrimination. They can't do that. If they're going to accept transgenders in the military, that's the problem. It's got to be. If you're a guy, you're a guy. And other people are having problems with that. Wait, you used to be a, a, a girl, now you're here. Or you used to be a dude, now you're here. And, and they're having problems with it. So I think and it, that's where the distraction is. It's not... The separate quarters because they couldn't do that. That's 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 fucking. Um, that's what do you call it? Discrimination, right? So that's where the problem is right now. And I think uh, it's not so much. See, everybody thinks everything's got to be uh, that everybody accepts everything, but the reality so is what you're they, saying they is don't. If they were a woman and are now a man. 
they have they, to be, they, they have to be set up in uh, male quarters. Absolutely, they're legally a male. Camp and school and all that. Absolutely, they're legally and they're, a male. Right. If you this, and I agree with that. If okay, if you're gonna if I'm if we're gonna let you in the military and you were a woman and now you're a man. But they, you're going to be you're going to be held separate quarters, though, right? But they don't shouldn't get. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know that much about it because when I was in the military, you were either a man or a woman. You didn't have to worry about all this other shit, you know. And it was don't ask, don't tell. You could be in if you were gay, but I didn't need to know about it. And now everything's so free and open and honest. I swear to God, it's going to create a revolt one day. I, I you know, I, I got to wonder. You know, I think back when the movie Stripes came out and the and the sarge there at the recruiting station asked him are either of you homosexual yeah. and, and i think back to that time that was back in the 80s right mm-hmm. and uh and and they both looked at each other <laughs> and they said well do we i mean if we have to yeah we can do that <laughs> no <laughs> that won't be necessary <laughs> well when i went in in 93 it was when Clinton came in, and it was the first years of the "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" policy, where gays were allowed in the military, right. but we didn't want to know about it. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, the actual question was crossed out on when I filled out my military application. It said, "Are you gay or homosexual or whatever?" They just had a pen line through it, and I'm like, "That's how new it was." And then now it's totally, it's okay to be. It's not even on the. Yeah. It's not even on the list of questions. It's not, sexual know, orientation is not. They want to know if you're a male or a female. That's it. And, and, that, and I'm more okay with that. Okay. See, because I would I would trust you know that if you're gay, you're gay. And let's face it, if you're gay, it doesn't mean you're going to want to sleep with every fucking buddy in the barracks. No, that's not no. how it works. No, that's okay? not how it works. No. But I, I trust you now because I know you're gay. You know, and yeah. you're clean with it and honest with it. But if I don't even know if you want to be a man or a woman, what the fuck am I supposed to trust? Right. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you're gay. Right. You know, you lied to get in. And that's what it used to be. I mean, guys got caught all the fucking time doing that shit. Well, well it's okay to be gay in the military now. And it's, it is okay. It, it's fine. Well, back with- in my day, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Was that- and and they, they they got in and they would they would go fiddle fuck around and do their thing and the next thing you know, you know, they got you know, I've seen them get escorted off the ship. But that's what I'm talking about. It used to be a dishonorable discharge. Right. Well that's what I'm talking about now. People have much more freedom and to be themselves than they did in your time. I mean, if you were gay in your time, it was a definite death sentence for your career and everything. Right, but, exactly. But now you can be in the military and be a five-star general and be gay, and that's fine. Uh, nobody's complaining about that. I think that's great. Uh, you know, but matter of fact, when I was in, I thought some of the guys that were in there were gay, but, you know, I still trusted them, you know, and that was right. don't ask, don't tell years. But now it's open and honest. You trust people more. I know you're gay. I know you're, you know. But in, in the same, by the same token, just because you're gay doesn't mean you, you even want me. You might have somebody at home who gives a shit about that. But I yeah. want to know if you're if you're a man or a woman. That I want to fucking know. Yeah, I mean, if you are a fully charged right. woman, okay. Right. And the only way that's going to happen is if you have a uterus. And, and see, here's fucking- my. My problem with, with the transgender thing, okay, I understand, and it's your prerogative to have the surgery and do whatever, but if you were once a man and you became a woman legally and you slept with me and I found out that you used to be a man before, I'm probably going to beat the fuck out of you for one, and well, two, I think you violated my trust. Well, yeah, you violated your trust, but I mean, right. they got, I mean, these guys are slickered and snot, man. I mean, they, they you've just got to know what to look for. You I, shouldn't you know, have to look for anything. Well, yeah, but but even, what's his name? Who's the uh, athlete that converted over to a woman? Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Bruce, Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. She, right. she still has an Adam's apple. Yo, he, she's not transgender. She still has she's, a, a tra- she's different. She's a transsexual. Yeah. She's not a trans. She's not a transgender. What's okay? Okay, then define transgender. 
<laughs> All right. Whoa, hold on, hold on. This this episode of, <laughs> of the Conjugal Visit is brought to you by Southside Proctology. Well, yes, sir, if you want it cleaned out, they're the guys to take it to. All right, go ahead. All right. Well, there, there's major differences, but transgender people are people who have a gender identity or gender expression that differs from their assigned sex. A transgender people are sometimes called transsexual, sometimes called transsexual, if they desire medical assistance to transition from one sex to the other. So a transsexual, I said that backwards, a transsexual is the one that actually goes and has the operation. A transgender is one living, might have a, a penis, but lives as a woman. That's a, tra- that's a transgender. That's what's scary. And, and that's they're gonna put they're, they're gonna put that person into right. the women's uh, dormitory right. on right. the base, right? and it, it might have and she it, and it her she it whatever might have, it'll have penis. Okay, so they just think they're 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 gay, is right. what they are. No, they're not gay. They just want to be they, a woman. They believe they 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 believe, and they grow they grow breasticles. Right. Some do. Some don't. Some don't. See, I see. I see. It's, it's how naive I am. Right. Uh, not knowing the difference. It may even include sex. people who are not exclusively masculine, masculine or feminine either. It, you know, people who are tra- transgender, queer. They call it bi. There's a bi gender, a pan gender. Uh, there's so many. That's the thing. Is if it, 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 that's where the problem is. A, a transgender person means it, it's a uh, umbrella term, if you will. Right, right. There's so many subcategories to that. It's like nobody knows who the fuck they are anymore. That's true, man. That's true. Yeah, you know, oh, it's because we've all been brainwashed over the years from the the crooked, you know, media and and the crooked politicians and the hidden agendas and uh, that, that has been pushed through the television and the radio and whatever. That uh, uh, that's how we're programmed now. Uh, and yeah. and I'm, that's not even no fucking conspiracy or or anything that I ain't telling right. anybody. Dude. Fucking the media, social media, fucking television, radio, movies, it all influences everything and everyone. Right. right. Oh, I mean, you got YouTube people saying it's okay to be whoever you want. Yeah, woo woo. You're going to come out. Where before you didn't have people support systems like that. If you were transgender or gay in your town, you were probably the only one. You were the outcast. Right. So now yeah. there's a network for the for for these people to have. And I don't even care about what they do. You want to be – if you're transgender, fine. It doesn't bother me. But there's got to be some kind of stipulations on things. There's got to be, especially right. when you are fighting a, a, a war with somebody. You need the trust factor. Know people who know who they are and what they're going to do. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and I – I'm all for human rights and people's rights and gay rights and whatever. I'm all for it all. People are people, in my opinion. But there's got to be some kind of stipulations on certain things, and I'm sorry. Right. I mean, you know, and, and you got to know that there's a difference. I mean, it took us forever to put a woman into combat. You know, it took us a long time to put them in fighter jets. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Boom! Damn! I'm so. I had a. I had a cousin who's a marine who came home decorated. She was great, and I'm proud of her. And and it shouldn't be about what you are, anyways, but about what you can do. But somebody's got to be able to trust you. This right. isn't just a job. It, it could be potentially your life on the fucking line. Right. Exactly. And, uh, is that guy? Want, is that? Uh, per, is, is, are they going to run? Mm-hmm. Are they gonna? Are, are they gonna you fucking know, cover your back? Can right, you trust and you them know, to cover your back. I always thought that when the, you know, and same with anything. If okay, now if you're here's my other, my opinion on it too. How does this work? If you're transgender now and you were a you were born as a woman, but you identify as a man, so technically you're a man by law, by whatever. Law. So shouldn't you be have to do the push-ups, the sit-ups, the, the chin-ups, the same as the men, and not have them do them like the woman way? Yeah. Should if you want to be a man, you should be the man. You should go the the military the rules as the man. Right. Not as there's you know, 
uh, no special testing for no you. No special testing for you. If you identify right. as a man, you, you take the test as a man. You can't right. take the test as a woman and then identify as a man. That's not right. That's not fair. Uh, you know. Yeah. Interesting conversation you gave there. That was <laughs> that was well, informative, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta tell you that was fantabulous. Let's give it a round of applause. Yeah. You explained it extremely. Just let well. me wipe. Let me wipe out my history on the transgender here. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> It's in the archives forever, man. It's in the archives <laughs> forever. You're talking about transgender, and, and now we yeah. have now now we have a a thing with the with the fucking North Koreans uh, still going mm. on. He hasn't pulled the trigger yet. Uh, he's expecting the Chinese to do something. Now th- there is evidence. There is evidence in the last few weeks that uh, the Chinese have tripled their armed forces on the border. Uh, mm-hmm. But a lot of people are speculating that that's just in preparation for mass refugees. Right. Well, here's the thing: China's in a big bind. Okay. China can't go against us because we are we 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 fund China. That's right. Basically. Everything we buy comes from China. We fund right. fucking China. And if China didn't back us up, I would fucking agree to a sanction on bargaining with China. Fuck them. We'll make it here. Maybe that will bring industry back here. You know. And, and as far as North Korea goes, dude, their fucking uh, submarines are from the fucking uh, World War II right. Vietnam I'm era. I'm thinking, dude. Now, uh, I'm thinking – now think back. You remember the conspiracy theory that Iraq no chemicals of what mass destruction, right? Right. Remember, right? remember the conspiracy? There was none, right? Right. Right. I'm thinking there ain't none. I'm thinking that we can roll over North Korea in about nine days. Yeah, but here's the thing. I'm thinking uh, we could be in Pyongyang in nine days. But here's the thing. In 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 the, in the Iraq thing. George Bush just pulled the weapons of mass destruction out of his ass, okay? It, it, that Saddam had him or whatever. This, there's actual him saying it on yeah. Chinese TV. Not not, not like just some fake intelligence. Kim right, Jong, but, well, whatever, the little... Yeah, but you know, Saddam Hussein did the same thing. It wasn't George Bush who pulled that out of his ass. The CIA believed it because that's what... Uh, that's what Saddam Hussein was boasting about. I got chemical weapons. I'll kill you. And he did yeah. use chemical weapons against the Iranians during the Iraq-Iranian war. So he did the, use weapons of mass destruction also against the Kurds. Right. So so he did have them. Now, was I, he... I was say he me- he's dropping dirty yeah. bomb up. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, when, when I think about it, when, when you think about it, though... He didn't manufacture them. He couldn't manufacture them. He bought them. He bought them from the Russians. Right. So that's where that lies. He got them right out of Syria. Him and mm-hmm. Sy- them and Syria were buds, and they fought in the war against Iran. And that's why Iran is such a large influence in Syria because they're the only fucking ally they got left. Right. But, you know. So I mean that I, I as far as that's concerned, as far as far as North Korea is concerned, I think we can take them in like nine fucking days and be done with. Well, but here's the thing, uh, you know, not, let's not underestimate them. Okay, we already tried fought them once to right. uh, a, a, a truce. Nobody clearly won or lost that war. It was a truce, right. ceasefire. They're still at war. You know, they, they do these little parades downtown Pyongyang. Where they have these fucking this massive fucking army presence right, right downtown, every fucking soldier in the army is there. You drop a couple of Moabs in there, man, it's over. Well, they're so trained to be anti-Western, like anti-American, anti-Canadian, anti you know right. the, the Western civilization word. The, we they think that we are that America is the the people that live there think we are the worst country in the world right, we and treat them, our dogs we treat them, and we're we trying to take them over and all yeah. this yeah yeah but then the good. ones that escape to south korea realize oh my god i've been lied to my whole life yeah you know? 
Yeah. Well, they all so. know they're being led. But most of them know now. With the, with right. the text, you, got, you know, they're blocked out from any internet. Oh, no, a they, television too. They only get television that's allowed. Local. That, yeah. yeah. Local. And only, it's only in Pyongyang. I mean, right. there's only two cities in the entire North Korea that right. light up at night. And that yeah. Pyongyang and that other city, I can't think of the name of it. Yeah. But, they, it, but, they, it, uh, but it, I think it's a, you know, you know, like Trump put the travel ban on there. You can't go there now. And right. I think that's a good idea. And I don't know why you don't want to go there anyways. And they hate us so fucking much. And then uh, I, would we roll? Fuck yeah, we roll over them. But yeah. here's the thing, man. If they really do have a ballistic missile, they can potentially hit Hawaii or Alaska. And they could if they have it. Yeah, and, yeah they could. You, you know, like the Cuban Missile Crisis was a, was a big scam, the weapons of mass destruction thing, whatever. Right. But you still can't pretend or think of it as, oh, it could be that again. Because right. it, it, people, you know, people do bad things. I mean, we did a bad thing when we dropped the fucking atomic bomb. You know, I mean. Oh, well, they left us no choice. It was either that right. or lose a half a million guys invading. Right. I mean, you know, that would have been hell. That would have been sure. hell. It would have uh, been. We'd had to, we'd had to uh, literally climb our way all the way north to Tokyo. I mean, you know, that, that dude, that's, right. that was brutal. I mean, that would have right. been brutal. And we, you know, he, look, we've got, you know, we when we drop one bomb on you, you know, you say, dude, right. you see that? That was a test. Wait, here's the thing is they might have one to two ballistic missiles that could hit those two targets, Alaska, Hawaii, and they'll kill a lot of people. But then, okay, you're going to have these big fucking um, air, uh, aircraft carriers. They're already there in the area. Right, like, right. You know, you know and we'll, just, uh, we'll shoot uh, them motherfuckers down. It'll be a total annihilation of a population. Absolutely, you absolutely. Know, uh, we'll flatten them because there's it, no there's no retraining them, Guido. There's no, no retraining them. You got to just say that's it, done. See ya, flatten them. That's it. I, and degrade them and demoralize them and say no. This is the way it's gonna fucking be. There's gonna be one fucking Korea, one Korea. That's well, it. That's well, it. I'm done. Yeah, that's well. That's not our our, our choice to say. I mean, uh, that's oh, yeah, Korea's choice. Be. I mean, with this asshole, this guy's got to go. He killed his own brother for Christ's sake. I know, and, he and but that's his the thing. Own family. I mean, they I have think to, he killed he, his dad. I really. He's do. only been in since 2011, so you know they haven't have enough intelligence on him. Is he just some crazy bastard talking shit, or you know, is he really going to do these things? So you yeah. know, well, you can't. He's you can't. The missiles. And if he's well, got the he, missiles, more than likely he's he said it. The bomb. He's said it a hundred times, you know. Mm-hmm. That so he's got to either put up or shut up, or just back right the fuck down, you know. And we can't uh, uh, go and attack for no reason. We can't do it. No, that's why we're hoping that China will. Right. But, but China's not going to do it. China's probably it's their redheaded stepchild. That's exactly what it is. It's their stepchild. Mm-hmm. Is North Korea. So, and if well, not for them, you know, they wouldn't exist. No, not that's the only China, way they, they get exist. anything. Yeah. Uh, their, their rice, their food, their everything comes from China. Uh, yeah. Even their octopus comes from fucking China. Even their gold well, yeah. comes from China. And, you know, you can't, you know, if it, it, and here's the whole thing about it. those people there, it's not like they were born to hate us. They they were trained to hate us. Right. Well, they were so, brainwashed. Right, they're, so they're still human living beings, and and they need to be fed. And that's the one thing that you can never do is cut their food supply off. You know, right. I mean that's just cruel and inhumane. And uh, uh, but you know, the dropping a, 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 a fucking atomic bomb would be better than that. Killing everybody would be better than starving them to death. You know, because at least you're not su- making them suffer. But I, I hope it never has to come to that because many people forget the first Korean War. We lost a lot of boys. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I mean, a lot. You know, that was the first time we dealt with jungle warfare, trench warfare, and or not trench warfare, tunnel warfare, Matt rather, and, you know, all that stuff. It, it, it was, uh, I think we lost you know, tons of kids. Oh, and, yeah. it, you know, it never was a true war. It now it is. Police action. Yeah, but now it was. It, it's finally considered a war. But right. that 
war never ended. It just no they, armistice. They call, that was it. Yeah, they called it ceasefire and whatever, 1950, whatever. 1953. And, yeah. and it was over, and, but it's never been stopped. Over. You know, there there's a fucking right at the border. There's a big long uh, house that uh, they can walk in. It's either side, and there's a line right in the middle of the floor that separates North and South Korea. Right, and and they meet in there from time to time, to uh, whatever. I don't know what the hell they talk about, but um, it, it's crazy how a country just split like that. And I don't understand it how it did. I mean, I would have to investigate more of what happened to make North Korea want to succeed from South Korea. Because if you go to South Korea, it, it's a beautiful place and a thriving uh, city. Well, yeah, it is now. Yeah. It was, all right. of Korea was a mess. I mean, it was, all of yeah. Korea was a mess. Right. They, they they destroyed Seoul. Uh, Seoul was the main capital. They came down mm-hmm. out of the north and they wiped out that. And it was a, it was like a civil war. And then the United States and the UN got involved in it. And then what happened was is the Chinese and the Russians said, "Well, now we're going to get involved in it." And right. so it was an actual world war on that right. peninsula. And that's what right. it turned into. And uh, they left it up to the North Koreans to settle the business at hand. And the Chinese and the Russians just sat back with their arms crossed and said, okay, what are you going to do now? And then they, they did what they had to do. I mean, people were dying. You know, we lost over 50, only 50,000 there. But in Vietnam, we lost 500,000 troops. Oh, Vietnam was just uh, something we should have never been involved no, in, in the first place. we should have never been involved in that. And uh, I'm a firm believer that that Kennedy had no intention of sending mass groups into We would have never got, if Kennedy would have lived, he would have never, ever sent mass troops into Vietnam. Never. He'd have won the war uh, politically. He'd have won that war politically. I believe that. Uh, And uh, there's no getting around that because the Chinese can't stand the Vietnamese. They're a completely different communism. They can't stand it. Marxism is Vietnam, and Maoism is China. So it's, right. they're totally different communism. Um, and there is some free market in Maoism. There isn't any in the, in the Soviet style. Right. Uh, and so th- that's why they're enemies. They've been enemies for, for centuries, man. They've hated each other, the Chinese yeah. and the Vietnamese. So well, with Asia that, has a lot of problems. They weren't about to go in there and help us, though. Not at that yeah. time. Mao wasn't going to... Yeah, he said, fuck you. <laughs> well, no. It, 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 I don't think Kennedy would have... Or Kennedy wouldn't have done Vietnam at all. But, no. you know, the Korean War was a different war. I mean, we it was a right. diplomatic UN thing. I mean, well, it wasn't just Korea, the United States. Korea was actually, in the long term, why he beat Nixon. Because right. Nixon was the vice president. And so with Eisenhower and before Kennedy took office, uh, he told him straight up, your next problem will be Vietnam. And he knew what was coming. He knew what was coming. They didn't leave him blind. But he didn't know about the Cuban Missile Crisis. (laughs) And that that set everything off. Uh, So we only had advice. In 63 and 64, we only had advisors in Vietnam. And, uh, and then it escalated from there. Uh, it did. And, and, and I mean, because uh, Johnson, Johnson yeah, Johnson went full throttle with Vietnam. And yeah. um, that's when it all, you know, a lot of people, you know, conspiracy talk about uh, that's why Kennedy got bumped off because they knew Johnson mm-hmm. would take us to the war. Because let's face it, war has a lot to do with finances and whatever. I mean, if. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, uh, and there was one individual that was still alive at that time, uh, and that was Howard Hughes. And Howard Hughes owned several diamond mines, and he owned all of the uh, natural gas wells in, in South Vietnam. Sure. And he told Johnson, look, dude, that's billions of dollars, man. And, and right. That's a whole lot of tax dollars you're missing out on. If I well, that's that. what I'm saying is, uh, it, it is a lot of war is for financial purposes, for um, you know religious purposes, yeah, whatever. Absolutely. It's not just because somebody was wronged or something. You oh know? no, no. He also owned. Uh, he also owned a uh, a company that sold fucking um, uh, you know the, the what's fake uh, vinyl. 
and the, oh, yeah. the vinyl, the plants that they make, they, they get the oil for the vinyl from, are in Vietnam. Yeah. And he owned that as well. So, he, and he was selling all that to car makers because yeah. everything was a vinyl seat back then. Yeah, it was. You know? Yeah. <laughs> He'd be squeaking. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one you're getting it. So you're doing it. <laughs> doing it. You doing never do it. it on a on a vinyl seat. Yeah, I've done it on a vinyl seat. I've done it on a on a on a concrete floor. Yeah. 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 Why? What you doing on a concrete floor? Uh, it was in a. Oh, dude! It was uh, this. Uh, we were at this um, this like, like camping area that was a state camping area, and they had mm-hmm. you know like the parks have these restrooms and shit. Well, we were, right. re- we were in this restroom that was off to the side where everybody wasn't, and we were boinking in there, and we ended up on the on the floor, on the concrete floor. So, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was totally dark. It was awesome. It stunk like hell I am, but yeah, uh, I bet. You know, it's like a fucking outhouse. But, yeah. Uh, those were the good old days. Yeah, real old days. And, and, and I didn't get in trouble. Why? Why didn't you get in trouble? Because I didn't get caught. That's why. No, no. good reason. Yeah, I don't know. What was I? Sixteen? Yeah. That was like uh, <laughs> many moons ago, my friend. Many moons ago. Yes. Many, 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 many moons ago. Yeah. Oh, we were drinking uh, that night. We were drinking Mad Dog Twenty Twenty. It was fantabulous. Wow. Oh yeah. Talk about puking Mad- purple, man. Ooh. Dog twenty twenty. Yeah, MD twenty. That's some that's some sick shit. They still make it. Yeah, they still make MD twenty twenty. Yeah, they do. Uh-huh. Yeah, Mogan David twenty twenty, and it tastes like shit. And uh, really bad. Oh, the, the the other show showed up finally. The fifteen minutes. Oh, did it? Oh, okay. Yeah. So we could just track them both. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna change the names of them because the first one you spelled Con J I Go visits. Oh, and yeah, so I'll fix them because you know we know how you are sometimes. Yeah, yeah I did in a hurry. I was in a hurry, dude. Tried to get back on the air. <laughs> I was going, oh fuck, come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> no, I know. I, I all of a sudden I was talking, and then I'm like. Okay, he's not answering back, so I'm like, I'm either broadcasting or I'm not. And, <laughs> you and I looked and saw that you weren't on Skype, and I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> well, listen, why don't we uh, why don't we do a quick song, man? I'll do a, a tunage here, short three-minute song. Right. This is, okay. uh, I'm going to, next Saturday night, I'm going over at the, um, uh, oh, yeah, God. I can never think of the name of that hall. It's um, a Cabo is going to be in St. Louis on Saturday night. Um, mm-hmm. at, uh, oh, um, uh, um, Lee May Hall over in over on uh, Delmar. That's it, mm-hmm. Delmar Hall over on the west end there of St. Louis, and Cabo mm-hmm. will be there. And I've been talking to the lads and seeing if maybe we can get an interview with them. But here's some of their stuff here. We just put this into rotation. Cool. Uh, kick-ass song. KGFrocks.com. Dot song, yeah. Dot song. Dot song. Dot song. Yeah, rock and roll, man. Kick-ass song. Yeah. yeah. Champagne, some Cabo. You know, I got to tell you, man, this is going to be a uh, Saturday night's going to be a whole lot of fun. Saturday. Yeah. In the dark. In the park. Yeah, think, it won't be uh, in the yeah, park, though. Yeah. It'll be at Del Mar Hall over there in Del Mar, uh, just on the central west end there. Be it's right there, up. By Bob's Tomato Hut. You know, right there by the Farmer's Market. If you make a left at the Farmer's Market, go up two blocks, make a right, right there on the corner there. Now, don't go pad, don't go three blocks, go two blocks. Make a right because you can't get there from there, okay? You and, if, and, if, there. and if you pass Aunt Millie's uh, grass barn, you went too far. You went too far, that's right, that's right. Turn around, go back the other way. 
So when you're going back the other way, you got to look for that big oak tree standing there on the corner. And just turn left right there, right there. Do you, do you know that yeah. tie, tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree, the, the song that we used for, you know, our soldiers coming home, was actually written about a guy coming home from prison. Oh, really? Tie a yeah. yellow ribbon around the old oak tree? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Tie yeah, who did that song, do you know? Engelbert Humperdinck? No, fucking Engelbert Humperdinck did not do Tied. that song. It was Tony Orlando and Dawn. And Dawn, that's right, that's right. Tony Orlando. That guy, that guy there was something special. Mm. I think he was gay. I think he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Anybody who would you know, go on tour with those two beautiful women and not get any. I mean, How do you know he didn't get any? Well, I don't think he did either one of them. I think they were lesbians, to be honest with you. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it! Hey, it was back in you. the '60s, man. It was the back '70s. It was, well, okay, '70s, yeah. 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 Uh, he didn't he do knock three times on the pipes on the ceiling. Yeah, he did that one too. And, um, he did that. He also did uh, um, Candida. <laughs> You can't think of it, yeah, but whatever. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Oh, you're and he did, uh, he also did. <laughs> he don't love you like, like I, I love, love you. Yeah, yeah he did one. do that one, too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, <laughs> not a great time on the dealing. Now, okay, okay. Now, what was uh, the song, um, the song Mama Told Me Not to Come? That was Three Dog Night. And what was uh, it about? Not to, you know, let 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 your do, your do juice drugs. flow. Yeah, not to do drugs. Mm. Yeah, that smoking smoking that cigarette about to scare me half to death. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at your water, your whiskey, and your tea, or something. Yeah, I can't what's remember. all these crazy questions you'd be asking me? My girlfriend you know that, passed out on the floor. <laughs> the, the 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 dude uh, Corey Wells that. Uh, is in that band is from Buffalo, New York. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Didn't know that. Didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Now you know. Yeah. You and now seen, you know. You ever see the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore? Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. Oh, yes, I think I did. Who's in that? Um, what the fuck was her name? I can't think of her name. Who was in it? Uh, look it up while I'm talking about it. Uh, friggin', um, uh, there's a song on the, in that movie. Uh, called Dear Mr. Uh-huh. Fantasy, and that is done by Traffic, and uh, it's, it's uh, oh, in yeah. the movie. That's in the movie, the soundtrack. There. Um, that's a cool. Yeah. That's a very cool song. Yeah, that's a great song, Dear Mr. Fantasy. That's actually one of my. Uh, you know, if I had an all-time list or something, that would be in there. It wouldn't be up, you know, in the top 10 percentile or even 25 percentile, but it would definitely be on that list. Yeah. Can you tell me who the hot chick was on the motorcycle in the movie White Line Fever? The naked chick. Yeah, no, I've never fucking no. even heard of that movie. So You've how never the fuck seen would I? White Line Fever? No. What the hell is that shit? I was born in 1974, dude. 1974 was about when it came out. Oh, I, I was not going to the you know movie theater. When I was <laughs> just born, so no, I've never seen that, and I probably don't want to. Oh yeah, it's a great movie. Here, why is it so great? Well, I'll tell you why. It's about a guy who has to take this this Mustang. I think it's a Mustang, or is it? A, yeah. Oh wait a minute, maybe it's not a Mustang. I think it's a Cougar. I a think it's Cougar. A, yeah. Is that an elderly lady or like a real Cougar? No, it's like a, a car. It's a, no, it's a car. It's a. It's a Mercury uh, Cougar. Mercury Cougar, I think. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Wait a minute. Right. Let me I, let me do this. I'll bring that up. Line. Fever. <laughs> You're just making this shit up. No, man. I swear to God. You swear White to God. I swear fever. to God. No, I swear to God. 1975, it came out. <laughs> when the original came out, and uh, it starred, who was the star in White Line Fever? 
I don't know. You tell me, since I never heard of it. Jan Michael that's really, Vincent. No, that's, that's not, not the a right Star movie. Thing. That's not the right movie. There's a different movie. Oh, uh, did you take yeah, your meds today? Yeah, I took my meds. A white line. I, I, I'll think of it later when I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> it, it was a movie. It was a movie so, about so a guy. Whole... The movie about a guy who was. To, they paid him to take this car from Detroit to Los Angeles, but he only had a certain amount of time to get there. Well, the whole time he's avoiding the cops and he's doing this high-speed chase and um, mm-hmm. uh, he uh, ends up, he's dosing on speed the whole time he's doing it. And I think he's only got like 48 hours to get there. So he's hauling ass sure. and the cops are after him and he's eating speeders and he stops at this guy's house and um, they're in the desert. And there's a chick mm-hmm. that's riding around on a motorcycle naked. And it's a little okay. fucking little Honda motorcycle. And I'm trying to think of the name of the friggin' movie. Anybody out there listening knows the name Is of the movie. Is that the one with Steve McQueen? No, it's not Steve McQueen. I know it's not Steve McQueen. I, I got, I'm telling you, man, it is White Line Fever. Jan- but that's not the right one. That is not the right one. I think you're losing it, my friend. You sure you know it? Yeah. Have you seen it? Maybe you saw it in I, like, I seen an it. alternate I, universe. Yeah, no. The Mandela effect has affected your life. You're still yeah. looking for it. You're yeah, still I'm, still, for I'm it. still looking for it, folks. I'm going to give up. I, I, I mm-hmm. you know, I, I know what it was. I, I, I know the movie Red Line Fever. No, nope, that's not it. Uh, White Line Fever film. No, that's not it, man. I know it wasn't <laughs> J. Michael Vincent. And then he was, this uh, This guy was uh, a DJ, a black guy was mm-hmm. a DJ, and he would he would send him messages over the radio and tell him where the cops are. Was his name Venus Flytrap? No, no, it wasn't Venus Flytrap. See, you're making fun of me here, man. It's a real live movie, folks. It's a real live movie. I'm telling you right now, it is a real live movie. Okay. Well, it, so you can come up with it, or somebody can call in or text in and tell me who it is. I'm not believing you. You're not believing me. Nope. Because how do I know you just didn't make it up? It sounds pretty. Who, if you can tell me who's in it, I'll believe you. Yeah, that's well. That's what I'm looking for now. I think I. I think I. I just. I. I. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I love when you get confused. <laughs> I just don't get it. It's one of my favorite things. <sighs> anyway, you find it. Nope. Yeah. Didn't find it. I know it's there. I'll find it later. And okay, so it's it a movie. Up. Oh, all right, listen. Let, let, let's let's uh, let's break this down, and and we'll find. It. So you say it, it's a movie about a guy. A great. It, it's under car chases. It's going to be. It's a guy who's taking a car from like Detroit to Los Angeles, and he only has a certain amount of time to get there, and he's <laughs> he's hauling ass. It's uh, and. Uh, uh, he ends up driving his car into the police set up a barricade where they put these two bulldozers on the fucking on the on the highway and they block the highway and he drives right into him and explodes and kills him. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can't find that. <laughs> what year was it from like? Ah, oh, man, it's, it's in the 70s, early 70s. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. I think you. Yeah, well, I, know. I don't know, man. You'll have to. You'll have to like bring yourself back to that time, and and really think hard about it, man. Right. What were you doing that time in that in that that crazy days? Yeah, I. I you know, I'm gonna get to it. Grand Torino? No, that's new. No, no, that's newer. 
This is 70s shit, man. Yeah. Ten <sighs> greatest contract movies. Uh, it's got to be one of them. No, because we would know that. I would know if it was a 10 greatest car chases. I mean, uh, I just don't know this movie, what you're saying, with Jan Michael Vincent or... Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just like, you know... (laughs) Wow. Yeah. (laughs) Is this what it's like with Alzheimer's? Yeah, this is what it's like with Alzheimer's. This is what the epic car chases. Um, what was that movie with? Uh, uh, Bullet was with Steve McQueen. Yeah, that's Bullet. But the one that Steven Spielberg produced. Um, uh, shit, it was like um, the great Southern Fried movie or something. I don't remember. Yeah. we're all. Let's see the seven the seven ups. The seven ups. No. Uh, 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 it's that was produced in 1973. There was, uh, I'm just trying to see if it, you know, if you can uh, jar your memory. So w- were you like with a woman at this time, or were you, were, you know, Oh no, this yourself. Was when I was or, younger. Like how young, dude? Oh, I was in my teens when this came out. Vanishing Point. That's the name, right there. I found it. Vanishing Point. What the hell did you get white lines? That's what you were doing when you white watched it, white lines. I just, you know, it's one of them things. This has got to be funny as hell. People are probably laughing their asses off. I wouldn't blame yeah. them. White line fever. White He's line driving fever. a Dodge Challenger. Yeah, no, no. Vanishing point. <laughs> okay. All right. So we went from white line fever driving a fucking cougar. Yeah, to, to a totally different name of a movie, driving a totally different car. Vanishing Point, Dodge Challenger. And you expected me to help you find that with all the wrong info. Yeah, and I can't think of this guy's name that that stars in it. The movie about which got now which movie? Yeah, now? now we even forgot why we were looking for this because well, I want to I want to know who the chick was. Who's riding, riding a motorcycle? Bike, her yeah. tits hanging out. Wasn't yeah. that what it was? Well, yeah. I'll tell you who it was, and 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 who I knew all along. It's a 1971 film, by the way. It's a 71 film, correct? Yeah, and yeah, and uh, it starred Barry Newman, and uh, there was music in there by Kim Carnes. I'm just reading yeah. the Wikipedia page. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, let's see. Girl on the bike. Let's see who she is. Do you know what her name was in the movie? Can't. No clue. No, yeah, um, no, why no. am I asking you? Yeah, you oh, oh, nude yeah. motorcycle rider. Gilda Texter. Gilda Texter. Never heard Gilda of her. Tex- Gilda Texter is a costume designer who worked in costume and wardrobe departments of 40 movies and television shows. However, she possibly probably most famously known for her feature film in 71 movie Vanishing Point when she completely rode completely nude for the entire performance and received credit as Nude Rider because her character a nude motorcyclist was See, never named. I'm not crazy. I told yeah. you I wasn't crazy. Yeah, but you had like the fucking different movies and you had they it all had, comp- they had Delaney and Bonnie and friends in there. Good yeah. stuff. They had good music. Yeah. Hey, Let's who, see. Who played? Let's do you know start. who played with Delaney and Bonnie? Eric Clapton, dude. Don't, Eric don't Clapton. Play. Oh, oh, you are so <laughs> fucking good. See, I try to get him every once in a while, folks. I really do try to get him every once in a while. Yeah, Barry yeah. Newman played the driver. Oh, well, um, she was pretty hot. Yeah. Oh, she must have to. She might have to be a classic, honey. Yeah, she was pretty hot. Did you find her? Yeah, I found her. Yeah. All nude on her butt. Look at you go, girl. Yeah, the soundtrack is on there. The girl gone. The girl, uh, let's see. What's on the soundtrack? Uh, let's see. Runaway Country. And they got uh, let's see, Delaney and Bonnie, You Gotta Believe, and Freedom Expression. And, uh, yeah, they had the, uh, who played the uh, the DJ? Let's see. Uh, what's his fucking name? I don't know the guy that played him. It was probably somebody famous. Bill Drake. 
never heard of him. Uh, I never heard of him. He, you know, maybe that wasn't him. Maybe. Maybe not. Of <sighs> course, Demi- it took you forever to like figure out what the name of the fucking movie was. Yeah, it's Charlie Younger, man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I was God. like, I, you, you tell me a different fucking car. A completely different me. name of the movie. Right. right. Well, and I expect you to help you find it. I still stumped you. you. That's not stumping when you fucking, like, give somebody the wrong info. Right? <laughs> Besides, that was out before I was even born, dude. Yeah. And I guarantee you. It was, like, never was shown again. Oh, yeah, it was. It was a cult movie. They used to show it at the cinema all the time. I just didn't remember the name of the fucking movie. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, I'm bad. You know what, that's too much of the, the, you know, whatever. Whatever, right? Whatever juice. I gotta take a shower, man. I hate when I like I have off three, four days in a row. I just don't have a need to shower, you know. Yeah, it's like when I don't shave, you know. I feel all scruffy and shit, and I know my fucking razor takes a beating, you know. It's like a Timex. Yeah, I, takes mean, a... I, I go through razors, man. I I eat them up. I I, I gotta be honest with you, man. I, 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 you know, you buy those razors at the store, at the drugstore, or at the grocery store, or Walmart, or wherever. And they don't last. Those triple blades, they don't last. They get all clogged up with your stubble. I mean, come That's on. Why I, I, use, I use the safety razors, the, you know, the flat blades. You do? Do you really? Yeah. Don't lie yeah. to me. You don't. I swear to God. Blades. You do not. I do, you, too. Yeah, I do. Your, did your dad leave that for you? No, it's the new trend now, man. They're in style again. They are. They're dangerous. Yeah. How are they dangerous? <laughs> You ever watch an Al Capone movie? <laughs> yeah, not not a not a not one of those things. That's a flat, straight razor. Use the safety razor where you drop the, the, safety, the blade yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that you twist one. it and it closes the top down. Yeah. Oh, that, really? They work better. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I'll get me one. Maybe I'll mm-hmm. get me a Gillette with the fucking little spin top. Yeah. And open it up, and they'll last a little longer. The triple blades then, don't last. They only last about, fuck, I don't know. It's all a scam, dude. Two or three shaves and they're done. Buy the, buy the safety razor one, you know. Right. And the bl- blades are cheap. And I'm telling you, you'll get two or three, maybe four beautiful shaves. It's a better shave, huh? A better shave, I think so. I totally use, that's all I use now. Yeah. Well, thanks, man, for the clue. Yeah, I, I would. You're thinking of a safety razor, like yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. No, no. I don't, think so. I don't know why they call that a safety razor. There yeah, ain't nothing fucking dangerous. safe about that. Hell no, dangerous. You know, yeah, like you know, dangerous, like dangerous, dangerous. Right. <laughs> Not just. You know. Yeah, I I just like want to say that I forgot. I want to. I we. We have to start our apology uh, 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 tour now. Uh, we want to say sorry to transgenders. We no. want to say we're sorry to um, uh, uh, funeral homes. And um, we want to say we're sorry to the people in the movie uh, uh, Vanishing Point that I got it wrong. Uh, right. I've got to apologize to them. Right. And um, apologize to Jan Michael Vincent. Um, no, he should apologize to us. Yeah, he should have never done White Line Fever. Right, right. Or Airwolf. Or Airwolf. That was Riptide, that was, whatever he did. Yeah, that wasn't good. Yeah, that was not good at all. Well, Ernest Borgnine was in it too, though. So Ernest mm-hmm. Borgnine is just like an annoying actor. You see him in a movie, it's like, oh, not this douchebag. You didn't like him, huh? No. Nah. But you know who I did like was Brian Dennehy. Yeah, he was a good actor. Yeah, I liked him. A, yeah. And you know who scared me as a youngster was, well, because I'm younger than you, so you, you won't relate to this, but the father from The Wonder Years. From The Wonder Years? Yeah, Mr. Arnold. 
Yeah, I remember him. Okay. Yeah, Dan Loria. He looked like yeah. he could whip her ass. <laughs> But, uh, you remember the Wonder Years? Yeah, I remember the Wonder Years. I used to watch it with my old man all the time. Wasn't there a takeoff from that? Was it? Uh, wasn't um, Doogie Howser a takeoff from that? No, wasn't the original. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his freaking name? The actor. Um, uh, Doogie Howser. Yeah. Oh, that's um, yeah, him. Yeah, oh, the guy, he does the Heineken commercial now. Yeah, he did it on How I Met Your Mother, too. He, yeah, yeah. He was Barney in that. Um, yeah. Yeah, but whenever... Anyways, go ahead. I'll, I'll think of his name. You, you tell the story. Yeah. Oh, what was I thinking of? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you said... And anyways... Oh, yeah. it, he's gay. Because, I know that. I know that. I know he's gay. Yeah, but it doesn't have anything to do with the fucking Wonder Years. The Wonder Years was about the 60s. Right. And Doogie Howser was set in the eighties. Oh, okay. So there was no yeah. more. No. Okay. Not even a fucking thing. Not even like same stratosphere, dude. Decades later. <laughs> <laughs> decades. I mean like decades Far later. Far out, man. <laughs> yeah. Neil Patrick Harris was his name, by the way. Neil Patrick Harris, that's right. That's right. He does the uh commercials. Now, do you guys have have Charter or, or what, what's your um, cable company out there? I think it is Charter. It was. It's we had Charter. Time. We had uh, – somebody just bought out our cable company. We had uh, Time Warner for a while, but I think it's um, – Charter or Spectrum? Ch- Spectrum. It's Spectrum. Have Spectrum. you seen the commercials for Spectrum? No. Where the, the guys are sitting on the train, right? Mm-hmm. You have to have seen this commercial. It's fucking hilarious. I don't have cable. Oh, you don't have cable? Oh. I stream all my television needs. I don't need to pay high prices. Oh, I see. So you, when you get your news, you get it right offline. Yeah. Uh, so it's all Facebook oh, oh, news. Oh, you no, 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 no. I, I stream CBS just like you do. But I stream it to my TV through my phone and don't pay somebody to fucking stream Send so it you've got a fire. House. You have a Fire Stick. Yeah, I have a uh, Chromecast. Chromecast. Mm-hmm. So you plug that into your TV, and then you can get From Netflix your, and all that shit. Hulu and all that stuff. Yeah, I I haven't had cable a cable bill in years. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe not smart. years, but at least a year, a year or so. But you know at first though it, it was cool because you know it, and think cool about it is like if you watch say you watch law and order you don't gotta wait till it comes on again you could fucking just watch law and order for 32 seven hours straight you know right and and you know at first when we stopped uh having cable we started you know just watching netflix and stuff it was like we were watching so much tv because it's like we were just, oh, let's watch one more episode. Oh, let's just watch one more. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and it was like that. We were binge watching everything. And then you got to, like, you know, step back from that after a while because you almost watch everything there is, you know? Right, right, right. You run out of movies and shit and run right. out of shows. But, I, you know, I'm talking about local news, like, you know, local weather news and sports. and Yeah, you, you can stream your local news through the Chromecast and all can, that. Can you really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. You can do whatever you want, man. There's so many different... All you got to do is go to YouTube, people, and say, how do I watch TV without my cable? Without cable. Bam. All these videos are going to come up to show you. Really? Yeah. And then you find out what's the best one for you. You know, it's going to be cable bills and stuff are going to be a thing of the past soon one day because nobody wants to buy that cable bill and, oh, you do this or that. I want everything and I want to pay for it when I watch it and I don't want to pay for it all the time. I don't watch it all the time. Right. So, you know, the whole uh, way we view television is different now. We get to choose what we want to watch when we want to watch it. And commercial free. Well, that's starting to become 
not true anymore because a lot of these streaming services are adding commercials. So they're still commercials. They're still commercials are part of it, but less commercials. Like see, if you watch, yeah. you watch Hulu or, or Netflix, they'll, they'll, they might show two commercials right at the beginning or one, and then that's it. You know, and Hulu might show a couple at the beginning, one in the middle and one at the end. But if you're watching an hour long show, that's three, three commercials is nothing. If when you're watching an hour long show on regular TV, you know, so they don't interrupt the show, right? Once in a while, once in a while on Hulu, it does Netflix. No, but Hulu, yeah, they interrupt, but you pay the monthly subscription you know, there's different plans if you don't want the commercials or whatever, you know. Oh, but you still pay for it. If you want to, there's ways to do it for free, too. I pay for it because the only way you're going to get, like, quality pictures is if you pay for the streaming services. But with Netflix and Hulu together, I don't even pay a quarter of what I – not even a tenth of what I paid for cable. I got Netflix and Hulu and every show I, you could think of, and I'm not even paying 20 bucks a month. Okay. I'm paying like twelve dollars a month for both, and it's on your phone bill. No, no, it's their own bill. They do, they bill you. They just take it oh. off your, you, you know, whatever. You right. could set it up to, to come out your bank or whatever. It, they're their own company, so it doesn't go through your phone at all because you. A lot of the smart TVs have Netflix and Hulu already in them, right? So all you have to do is pay for the subscription and you're watching TV. You don't need cable anymore. I mean, you really don't. You know, and it, it, it's really it's a thing it's going to be a thing of the past. I mean, we've been finding shows all the time to watch and you know, every once in a while I even go on YouTube and I'll I'll Google or YouTube a show, oh, 48 hour mysteries and oh, there's 100 of them and then I can stream with the Google stick or the Chromecast. I can whatever's playing on my computer I can send to the TV right so I mean and it's all wireless and it's all wireless yeah so you don't need a wired hook to the TV it's all um, what do you call it you know Bluetooth or whatever right so it, it's uh, you know check it out you get the free subscription if you have a smart TV get the free trial of Netflix and, and, and see if you like one. it sure you know me. You, you don't have to uh, – I think it's a 14-day trial, and in, I'll tell you what, in two weeks you'll be hooked. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, – Like gonna, I said, you can still get your local channels so I can figure out the news and shit, right? Well, not on that. That you're going to have to find somewhere else. You'll have to either well, – you can, like, get your local news – Get um, a, get an antenna. Get a box. Yeah, get a box for that. Yeah. It's still cheaper than having Because I got to know cable. what's going on with the weather and shit. You know, you, you don't never yeah. go to work. You know, I want to be able to get the news and the traffic and all that shit before I leave you, the house. Do you, know how, do you know how I get the weather and the traffic? I turn my phone on and say, oh, there's the weather report. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh traffic's congested in my area. <laughs> You don't need TV. You don't need TV. <laughs> no. Just like the other day, my wife was trying to find a place where they make potato pancakes. So she called like eight different restaurants. I'm like, why'd you do that? You should have just said, okay, Google, where's potato pancakes? Right by me. And she goes, that's what I did after. I couldn't find it. That's all you need to do, people. You don't need TV. You don't need a phone book. You don't need no, – just say – talk to your phone. After a while, it gets used to you, and it starts knowing the things you want to do. Right. Yeah. And you you don't need TV. See, that's folks, the thing. Folks, this is a very this is a very educational show tonight. Are you paying <laughs> attention out there? This guy's got his shit together. Scares the hell out of me. This I new can technology. also control all the televisions in my house from my smartphone. That's amazing. Yeah. That's I can. Amazing. I don't have to tell the kids turn that TV down. I just go, whoop, family TV volume down, and it goes down. And then you hear, Dad. <laughs> yeah. If I want now, like when my dad used to call me and pretend, I pretend like I couldn't hear him because the TV was too loud. I can just go to family room, pause, come here, and then they can't pretend like they didn't hear me. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the greatest thing too is I control the Wi-Fi. So if if they're bad kids, you can just block the Wi-Fi and they can't watch TV at all, at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I it, give me a smart TV. That's all there is to it. 
yeah, smart TVs, you know, it, it, smart TVs are better for like, you know, especially somebody that's not technologically savvy because for yourself, it's already in your TV. You don't have to go download nothing. It's already there, you know, and, and you just click on it and it tells you how to subscribe. You might have to go to your computer to subscribe, but other than that, right. it's already in your TV and that's it, you know. So I can watch endless episodes of That 70s Show and MASH. You can watch the whole entire season of That 70s Show and MASH from okay. from now, one. I, to I am to a, the, a confessed Fox News addict. Okay. okay. So I got to have my Fox News channel. Uh, did you? I didn't know if you know this or not, but. Uh, you can get Google, or I mean not Google, YouTube on the smart TV, and Fox has its own YouTube channel that streams live 24-7. Ah, uh, and I can stream that on my smart TV. It'll, yeah, because you'll have the YouTube uh, app on your TV. Once you buy a smart TV, it'll have all those apps in there, especially it'll have YouTube, it'll have uh, Hulu, Netflix, Netflix, and it'll have a bunch of other ones, but those are like the, the three that will get you everything you want. Okay. YouTube, Hulu, and Netflix are the three that will uh, get you to watch almost anything you want. Now, I don't know if the other news programs have streaming uh, live on YouTube, but I know Fox does. And also, Fox has a couple different channels where you can watch shows that you missed. Uh-huh. Like, like if you miss Hannity or you missed, you know, whatever, right, right. you can go back and watch them. Uh. So... Also, you can watch the Alex Jones news program, who is InfoWars, who tells the news how it is. There's so many things now. See, you don't have to – that's the thing about streaming your television is you control what you watch. Nobody tells you what to watch and and it makes you watch. You're not restricted to what they're broadcasting at the time. Absolutely. You're not paying for channels that you don't watch. Absolutely. Like I do. I, I've got 500 right. channels. Oh, yeah. I, I remember we had HBO because we had to get it because the Sopranos. And, and I had to have it because I needed yeah. the Sopranos. Right. But that's the only time I ever watched it was the Sopranos. And it was like oh, the rest of the year or the rest of the week we didn't even yeah. watch it. I don't watch HBO <laughs> only when they have a new show on. And I never know when they're going to put those new shows, on, those new movies on. Right. So and like the other night we got lucky and we got to see Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, yeah, that's a great movie, by the way, folks. Right, you know, but, but see the that. the other thing about streaming. All right, if you're watching Hacksaw Ridge on HBO, and you got to pee, you're gonna miss something. If you're right. watching Hacksaw Ridge streaming, you can pause it, rewind it, fast forward it, uh, whatever you know. Right, right. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. But there. it's it's I I was like totally when we first lost. We, and then your phone is your remote control. On uh, some of them, some of them you can buy where the remote control is separate, like a Roku or uh, there's so many different ones, a Fire Stick. Fire Stick, the Rukus, they have remotes. The Google Chromecast has to work through your phone. And if you have an Android, you already have the the app in your phone. You just got to activate it. Activate it, right. And um, – or your computer, but if you get the Fire Stick or you know the Apple Play TV, there's so many of them. Some of them have remotes. Now, if you had a smart TV, you don't need anything because everything is already in the TV, and the remote for your TV will control all that. Ah, oh, I see. So it's they're making it very easy for people. So if you don't have a smart TV, you want to go out and get a streaming box. You want to go get either Fire Stick, Google Chromecast. There's so many. Uh, I would say for a person like you who's not real phone savvy with your smartphone, get one of the ones that have the remote. Get like a Roku box. Right. Because, you know, your phone, it it might drive you nuts. But you can also control the Roku from your phone if you want to do that later, but it also has the remote. So So everything. put that up in my bedroom, and then when I buy my smart TV for downstairs, I don't have to deal with buying two different. And they're they're getting cheaper now, and the prices of them, you know. But you got to watch too. If you're going to buy a streaming box that's like twenty bucks, don't buy it. It's like a piece of shit. Okay. You know, you want to spend at least like 50, <laughs> fifty bucks, thirty-five bucks. I wouldn't say any less than like thirty-five bucks. Okay. Because you know you get what you pay for, and the twenty-dollar ones are twenty-dollar ones. 
Right. You know. And so I mean, I think our our Chrome stick was like thirty five, forty bucks. Okay. You know. And our Roku, the two Rukus we got were like fifty. And you so, only pay like twelve dollars a month for it, right? Yeah, but you don't have to pay anything once you get used to working it. There's so much free stuff on there too. But okay. it's better to pay the like the twelve dollars for Netflix and or Hulu and whatever because you'll get more at your fingertips. But there's also a lot of free TV on there. There's a, you know. Uh, YouTube will teach you how to do that, where you can download this app that will stream TV right now. You can watch. There's just one called um, I forgot the name of it, but Madro. It actually streams live TV to your TV to your TV or your phone. So From if you want, locations. yeah, you pick wherever you want. So if you want to watch the news, you're you're from you know st louis and you come here to buffalo to visit me you can watch your local news in st louis that night oh i see okay you know so you can choose i mean there's so many ways there and there's so many ways to cheat the system too there's a lot of illegal ways to do it too right. but a lot of the the um movie studios and uh television stations are battling that because they don't mind the streaming but they want to get paid for it too right, you know right. so if you're going through hulu or netflix or something like that you're legally just like how we run our station you, you we're paying the royalties they're paying the royalties to that tv show so yeah. that's what you're paying for yeah. is the royalties you know you're paying uh, the royalties Right, and then there's free free ones, or you know sometimes I'll do one where you, you, it's a two week trial. I'll try it to see if I like it, cancel it, whatever. But, but you once you get used to it all, you'll find so much shit to watch, dude. You'll 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 wonder why you hasn't did it so much sooner. Right. Okay, maybe I will then. Get rid of this big ugly thing out of my front room and go get a smart TV as soon as I pay off my bed. Yeah, smart TV <laughs> is. I don't like or or buy a streaming box, you know. I mean, what well, you have to have a TV that my son, my youngest, he has a smart TV, mm-hmm. and he 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 doesn't use the cable on it. He uses he streams uh, he streams yeah so off yeah off the internet yeah yeah he could teach you, and I'm sure he could teach you how to do it easily. Well, well, I don't know if he could teach you how you how to do it easily, but he uh-huh. he might you know be able to eventually teach you how to do it right. and. Uh, it, no, it's real easy. I mean, my wife does it, and she doesn't know how to answer her fucking phone. So right. for her to be able to do that, right? it's easy. You yeah. know? <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to figure it out then. <laughs> Folks, you know, you've been listening tonight, and we give you good advice. And tonight, uh, we just blew cable TV out of the water. Yeah, so, we did. Yeah. Well, and I'm, but I'm saying I'm not telling people to go do it illegally because you shouldn't. There's so many ways to no, do it no, cheaply. No, we're, we're saying there's ways cheap. to cheat it. Right. Don't cheat. Do it cheaply. You know. Cheap. Yeah. Do it cheap. Yeah. yeah we're not telling I mean, like, anybody I, to do, do it illegally. Right. You know, like on we, Hulu, if, say if you're watching Law and Order, you watch Law and Order. Okay, it's your favorite show. You can't see it live, like when the day it shows, but you can see that episode on the Sunday. So if you can wait a few days, you get to see the same episode every week just a couple days later. Oh, okay. Uh, on like Netflix and shit. No, nah, just Hulu does that. Hulu is the only one that plays new stuff. The shows from the week before, right? Where Netflix actually they'll take they have new shows, but you have to wait till the next season for their last season. Ah, uh, I see. But you still can binge watch. I mean, if you want to watch that '70s show, like I said, you can watch it from press play and watch one to the end. Yeah, first one you to know. the end, right? Right. And, and there's other shows on there too. There might be shows from when you were a kid. Believe. I mean, I was watching Lassie from the '50s the one time. Oh, nice! I used to you know? watch Lassie every morning. Yeah, right. So, yeah, but a lot of times cool. on those streaming services, if you if it's on there, don't always say, "Oh, I'll watch that later," because it, a lot of times they disappear for a while, come back because it's just like us with licenses. Sometimes they get the license, sometimes they lose a license. Sometimes, you know what I mean. And uh, but it, some of the big shows are always there, like your Law and Orders and your Criminal Minds and all that stuff. And then there's a lot of older shows, but then there's tons of shows that you've never even heard of. They have their own shows, dude. Yeah, yeah. And, I know Netflix and, does yeah, and Hulu does. Some of the Netflix both. shows are really good. I mean, yeah. 
They're very uh, popular. Uh, yes. Won, won like a, a Grammy, a couple of Grammys or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Best Emmy, television Emmys. show. Emmys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, how but long it, was that first episode that we did tonight? 15 minutes? About 15 minutes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want to go till 10? That's up to you, brother. I'm fine right now. You're Whatever fine you right now? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, we taught uh, you we taught you all about. We're sorry about that to the cable companies out there. Nah, sorry, not sorry. We probably, but listen, you know, you want to listen to all of our great DJs here at KGFRocks.com. Rob Boyer starts things off on Monday nights, and they work our way through the week with guys like Wild Bill and um, Diamond, and uh, uh, sometimes myself. And you just never know what you're going to get at KGFRocks.com. And starting this Saturday, tell everybody what we're doing sat- next Saturday. We're going to, uh, our boys from uh, Podcast Rock City who do our Saturday or Wednesday night KISS show, are, a lot of their fans say they can't listen to it during that time. So we're going to replay the, uh, the, follow, you know, the previous week's show on Saturday afternoons at 2. So, yeah. Saturdays at 2. So that'll be cool. Tune in to our shows. Don't forget about us here at KGFRocks.com. It's not free. We don't do this. This is not free for us. And if you can pitch in a couple of bucks, we greatly appreciate it. I want to shout out to Rob Boyer. He uh, donated $100 to the cause, and we thank you very, very much for that thank uh, you, Rob. donation. Thank you, sir. Anyway, um, yeah, I think we've beaten this one to death. Okay. Okay. So, and uh, it, we, you're going to do some magic over there on the other side. So folks can listen to both. And, uh, hey, listen, uh, you got anything else for me? No, that's it, man. All right, man. This is KGFRocks.com, and you're listening to The Conjugal Visit. Hope you enjoyed the show tonight, and I hope you have a fantastic week. We'll see you back here next week. See Adios. You. Bye-bye. It's Sunday night, and this is The Conjugal Visit on kgfrocks.com.